In this video, I'm going to show you how to build in a sign in with GitHub option on your website using AppRite. So this is the application we're about to build. So let me quickly walk you through how it's going to look and then we'll go ahead and get started. So first of all, we go ahead and just click on this login with GitHub option and we're going to be redirected to GitHub and we're just going to authorize this app right here. So this is going to authenticate our user. So we're going to go ahead and authorize. This is going to redirect us back to our application. And here is our profile page with our user authenticated. And we can just go ahead and hit log out. And that's the entire application. So let's go ahead and jump into the code base. And I'm going to walk you through what we have set up so far. So first of all, I used V to set this up. So we already had some boilerplate. I cleaned up a few things and then I added some of my own code. So inside of index.html, we just have two wrappers right here. So one for the login screen and one for the profile screen once a user is logged in. And in that login screen, we just render the login with GitHub button. And if you notice here, we have the class of hidden on this div along with the profile card. So essentially, neither one of these will render until we know if a user is authenticated or not. So we make a decision, we go ahead and run a check, and then we render one of these screens. Now, we also set up an instance of our AppRite client here. So if you don't have an account with AppRite, make sure to go ahead and set that up use the web SDK to go ahead and configure this. I already have other videos on this channel about this. So we set that up and then we just go ahead and export the client and the account instance. Moving on to main.js here, we import the account instance. We get our HTML elements, set those in variables so we can access those easier. And here is where we check if a user is authenticated or not and decide which screen to render. So we call get user. We either render the profile screen or we render the login screen. And for these methods, we simply just remove the class of hidden. For profile screen, we go ahead and set the username and we remove the class of hidden for our user profile screen. Then we have the logout method and here's where we call the get user method and the handle logout event listener. So let's go ahead and actually build in our login functionality. So we're going to create an async function here and we're going to call this handle login. And from here we can access the account instance and we'll call create OAuth2 session here. So for this method, we need to pass in a few parameters here. So first we need to pass in the OAuth provider. So we're just going to go ahead and pass in GitHub here. And then we need to pass in the success URL. So where are we going to send the user once they're authenticated? So what I'm going to do here is just go ahead and grab my home page. We'll just go ahead and grab localhost 5173. So whatever you're using for this, go ahead and pass that in here. And then we need to pass in the fail URL. So where are we sending the user if the authentication fails? So I don't have this URL here, but we're just going to pass in fail. So let's say we have an endpoint like that and that's it. So from here, what I need to do is go ahead and add an event listener. So when we go ahead and click the login button, I want to trigger handle login. So here we'll just do login button and we'll do add event listener. This will be on click and we'll just pass in handle login. So from here, what I need to do is go into my AppRite account, enable my OAuth provider, and then we need to go into our OAuth provider, create an OAuth app, which is going to be in GitHub, and then take some credentials and connect them to our AppRite account. So let's go ahead and jump into our AppRite console. Here I have a fresh project, and you'll notice I have no users here, so we can go ahead and just enable that provider, and then when we log in, a user will be created. So we'll find GitHub here, so we'll go ahead and select that. And here I can just go ahead and enable this. And here we'll see that we need an app ID and an app secret, which we can get from GitHub. And then we need to pass in this URI to GitHub when we create an OAuth app. So we'll leave this open and now I'll jump into GitHub. And in order to create an OAuth app, I'm going to go into my profile here. We'll scroll down and click on settings from settings on the bottom left here. I can click on developer settings. And I'm going to click on OAuth apps. So make sure you click this one right here, not GitHub apps. I've made that mistake before. Go ahead and click on OAuth apps for this tutorial. And let's register a new application. So we'll just call this uh, demo one and the homepage URL. Well, that's going to be this instance right here or this URL of local host. We'll go ahead and throw that in. And then for our authorization callback URL, this is where we grab this URI. And we're going to throw this in right here. And we'll just go ahead and register the application. So once this is registered, we're going to take this client ID right here, pass this in into the app ID section. And then from here, we also need a client secret. So we're going to generate one. And remember, this is only going to appear once. So either save it or just get ready to create a new one. Let's go ahead and copy that. And then this will not be visible after. So we're going to pass this into app secret, hit update. And that should be the process for connecting everything. So right now let's go ahead and make sure everything's saved. So we're just going to go ahead and hit update and 
our OAuth app should be connected and everything should be set up. So now if I try to log in, let's go ahead and test this. We'll go ahead and just refresh everything, make sure everything's cleared and we'll click log in. And right now it's asking us to authorize this application. We're gonna click authorize. We're being redirected back to our application. So this is our homepage and we're logged in and that's it. So right now we have access to our basic GitHub information, but what we don't have is our profile picture. So what I wanna do is show you a hack where we can actually get access to our GitHub account based on the information provided to us. And we'll actually render this in the next video. So if you wanna see that, make sure you stick around. But with that being said, make sure you subscribe to the AppRite YouTube channel and leave me any comments, questions, and feedback in the comment section. And I'll see you all in the next video.